In this lesson, we're going to enlarge shapes on a grid using a center and a scale factor. We'll begin with question one on object A. Object A is currently a one by two rectangle. So when we enlarge it, we'll create an image that is a two by four rectangle. And we'll enlarge it from the center by drawing a ray. From the center to the vertex, it is a distance of one. So when we enlarge the ray, we have a distance of two. And we go to the next vertex and make the ray twice as big. And we can do one more vertex. So we have created an image that is twice as big as the original object. We can check that we are right because the base in the object has a base of one and in the image it is a base of two. And in the object, it's got a height of 2, and in the image, it's got a height of 4. Moving on to question B, we go from a center to a vertex, and we're making it 3 times as big. So we can draw the rays 3 times as long, and we'll do 2 more vertices to, just to make sure. And now when we draw the image, we should see that the lengths are three times as big as each of the lengths in the original object. We can check this. The image got a length of one, and this has a length of three, and the base of the object has got a length of three, and in the image, it's got a length of nine. So that one works. For question three, we can draw a ray to the object. It's got a length of four, so we'll double it because the scale factor is two, and it goes there. And we can do another ray, twice the length to the image. So the base of the image would be 4, because 4 is double the length of the object, which is 2. And the triangle in the corner would be twice as big also, because every length is doubled. And we can check that this works because the base of the square is 2 and the length of the image is 4 and the triangle has a height of 2 and the triangle here has a height of 1. Moving on to question D, we're going to make the image half the size of the original because the scale factor is a half. So we draw our rays and to go from the center to the vertex is 2, 4, 6, and 2 down. So on our ray, it'll be half of that. 1, 2, 3, and 1 down. And we can draw out the image from this vertex, and you should see the image is half the size of the object, which is the base of 2, and the image is the base of 1. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that useful, and check out the link to the full lesson in the description.